I heard the, the, the torpedo, I'll call it torpedo, and I heard two torpedoes. You heard the, the explosion? This, I heard the explosions after, but then we heard the torpedo first, you know. I see. And where, where were you then? I was at home. I see. At, then. And I, when I was, I packed off to the well then. I knew she was disabled then. Yes. And I packed off to the well, and when I was returning, she was gone. I see. Yeah. So you did not see her? In no, place. I didn't see her going oh, down, no. but I seen her playing the other way. I saw her coming along there, and the next thing I saw her turning out, and down came went. Here is up, clean out the water. I see. Well, you, you actually, you heard the explosions too, I did, I, I heard the shots. I thought they were torpedoes like. Yes. But there were two. I never uh, about how long after the, the noises of the explosions did well, you actually see her going down? 25 minutes exactly. With the famous torpedo, May, May um, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And you were about 8 miles off? 8 miles off the old head of Pins yeah. what, what kind of a day was it? It was a lovely day, sunshine, beautiful. The water was quite calm. <coughs> there wasn't a ripple in the water. Yeah. You, where so were you yeah. actually when it was torpedoed? Were you on the deck? I was on, oh, I was on deck. I was on deck. Did you see the torpedo strike the boat? I didn't, but I went across to see what it looked like. And when I got over, I saw the water golfing, like just to be going through a terrible flood. And then the, I flew back again, just as I came back, this came up to the rail. I stepped overboard into the water. How were you saved, actually? The young man, see, I got his coattails. You got his coattails? I did. <laughs> Um, I, mean, I was so sure you wouldn't ask, I didn't even ask his, what his name was. And he pulled you by his, co you, uh, by his coattails chin, into yeah. the... He caught my chin, he told me, and he threw me across the bottom of the boat then, the floating in the water. The ropes, the boats that, ropes that would be cut, because they didn't have time to uh, lower yeah. the boats. It heaved over in three and a half minutes. So they couldn't have much time then, they cut the ropes and they fell everywhere in the water. It must have been a horrible sight in the water. Oh, they were, sure. There was a young woman again, we were in the boat, she was coming in and she was screaming, terror taking in, and we had already too many in the boat. So this young man said that she was, to, we told her to keep on then, that she'd need a boat, because to turn over then if she came in, we'd be all in the water again. Yeah. How long were you in the water, actually? Well, it must be three or four or five hours anyway. And you were, we oh, were brought to? Well, then we got into the boat, we rowed along, we got in then after dusk. Into, into cove. cove? Yes. What was the verdict? The verdict was really a declaration. Uh, the, after finding the usual details about the deaths of the various people by drowning as the result of the sinking of the Lusitania, we added these words. We find that this appalling crime was contrary to international law and the conventions of all civilized nations. And we therefore charge the officers of the submarine and the emperor and government of Germany under whose orders they acted with the crime of willful wholesale murder before the tribunal of the civilized world. And the civilized world reacted pretty quickly, I think. It did. The civilized world was very quickly... Uh, there, first of all, there was a tremendous attendance at the inquest. Practically all the international, well-known uh, European papers were there, all the Allied papers from France and Brussels and Spain and so on, Italy. And then the Americans took it up, and it very nearly brought the Americans in the, into the war. Well, I'm sure that apart from the international reaction, there must have been tremendous reaction in Kinsale itself. It had. It, it, of course, uh, it, was, it was as if uh, the war had suddenly been brought onto our doorstep. Uh, up to that time, there had not been a as many sinkings off the south coast. As you know, it developed very much later on. There were a large number of sinkings. Back there were only five bodies involved in the Kinsale inquest, although there were 1,300 people odd, 1,300 people drowned. Do you think that the Germans really meant to drown so many people? No, I think, I think their real object of it was a spectacular sinking of a great ship. And of course the Lusitania was the pride of the British Mercantile Marine. She was the fastest ship in the Atlantic. But what happened was that the engines were put out of commission. And as a result of that, they couldn't stop the ship. She was struck on the starboard side. She listed to starboard. They couldn't launch the boats on the port side because she was listing so heavily. They couldn't launch them on the starboard side because she was proceeding with such speed through the water. Who, in fact, rescued the people who were rescued? Only for a couple of, uh, of small fishing smacks and fishing boats, trawlers that were on the, actually fishing off the old head, I don't think anyone would have been rescued.